Hello everyone, my name is Oscar and you're welcome to video number two in my ongoing series of videos which would ultimately teach you how to edit a video in Adobe Premiere Pro. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to create a new project and sync your audio with external audio. Those are the two things which I'm going to be teaching you today in Adobe Premiere Pro. So to get started, I'm going to open up Adobe Premiere Pro and when you open Adobe Premiere Pro, you're going to be greeted with this welcome screen. It shows you the recent projects which you've been working on with Adobe Premiere Pro, but we're not going to be looking at that today. Ultimately, we're trying to edit a video. If you're going to be editing along with me, the files which I'm going to provide you are files from our previous Trade Inferno session. So it's a music based video. So we're going to be creating a new project for the purpose of that. So I'm going to go here and click on new project and I'm just going to type SI Toots. So we call this SI Toots, which stands for Straight Inferno Toots. So because we're going to be learning how to edit a video like Straight Inferno. So, okay. And yeah, wait for that to load up. Once that loads up, we're going to import our files in. So this is why the Final Cut boys always have a dig at us because of situations like this. So now we've got Adobe Premiere Pro open. And the first thing you're going to do when you open up Adobe Premiere Pro to get started with your video editing, you're going to go get the files which you need to edit. So there are many ways to do that. Down here in the project panel, it's got import media to start. You can just simply double click that and it's going to bring up the finder panel and then you look for wherever your files are placed and bring that in. I don't use that normally because I want to be teaching you how I edit. This is normally have my files because I have my files arranged beforehand. What I do is I go into the finder and I look for the file. But for this case, we're using Logos Olori. I just need the video and the audio. So I'm going to command click that and drag it into Adobe Premiere Pro like so. And they still retain the same order which they had in the file explorer. So the video files are under the video bin and the audio files under the audio bin. What this does, it makes for organized looking project panel. You don't want a project panel. By the time your project starts getting bigger and more complex, you find that the project panel is a mess to manage and you can't find essential files and it just slows things down. So you want to be organized from the get go. And that's what that file management system helps you do. So quickly moving on, I want to show you how to sync these video files with the music file, which is this track here. I sync my video files with music tracks or external audio with a software called Plural Eyes. And it's pretty simple and intuitive. I'm going, I'm going to show you how that works. Click Plural Eyes, you will be created with this. Yes, so now I've got Plural Eyes open. As you can see, it's got Add Media, Synchronize, Export. Add Media is the one we're going to go, or we can just simply using my file management system, drag the video and audio and drop it. Saves a lot of time, right? You see why my file management system actually works. That's one of the good parts about it. It works across various workflows. Even if you're a graphic designer, this might come in handy in the way you organize your files. So I've dragged and dropped that now and it should be able to synchronize. You can see this clips ready to synchronize and I'm going to click synchronize. Oh, synchronizing one because it's not meant for this kind of projects. So since it synchronized that, you're going to click export timeline and name it. You name what name it whatever you want. So if I name it Logos Olori here and I click save, I can go to Logos Olori, which is here in my finder and drag it into Adobe Premiere Pro. And it will give me a perfectly synced sequence, which I could start editing right away. So this is the synced sequence as you can see. If I drag that in, it is already synced for me and I can start working on that if I wanted right away so i'm not going to be using that anyway so i'm going to take that back and i'm going to be showing you how i sync my audio with my video manually it's quite a good process i'm going to put up my headphones for this so 
you can follow along. Do you know that Premiere Pro has some of the craziest bugs? Like I just went through some crazy bug right now in Adobe Premiere Pro and I could have given up recording this video because of this bug, but it was a great thing I had to research it and I found the course. So I'm selecting the first clip here, which is CO165. And so I'm going to take this clip to the bottom and I'm going to clear the in and out markers. You're not going to see that, that's because I've already selected some partial bits from this clip earlier on, but I'm going to clear that for the purpose of this. And so I've got my clip here. I'm going to create a new sequence with the audio. So I'm going to find the audio in the project and since I have the audio there, I'm going to go back, create a new sequence from this clip. So this is the clip I want to sync my, I want to sync this clip up with the audio file. So I've created a new sequence, I delete that and I'm going to take the audio into that. So logo salary. So I have my audio laid out here. Let me play the audio so you guys can hear. So what I'm looking for at this point is I'm looking for a kind of what you call a landmark so there's a drop coming down. That's a drop. <laughs> Don't watch my voice here, but yeah. So I'm using, I'm going to use that as a landmark. So the second line in that drop says, I paused that there because that's, I'm going to be using that mark to actually sync. So some people might put an in mark to mark it but I'm just going to leave it as a pause there. I can clear the in and out. So I'm going to go up to this source clip here and find that same spot. Let's do that. That's the raw recording. As you can hear my voice behind the scenes. We're going to take off that audio and it's going to be replaced by the one on the timeline. So what happened just there, it happened so fast, you might have missed it, but when I got to the landmark which I was looking for, I used a marker on it and I pressed I. So I is the in marker. If you use O, that's the out marker. Those are two important shortcuts which you should keep in mind as well for Adobe Premiere Pro. So I've used my in marker and I'm going to drag that in point without the audio by dragging this video icon right here to where my cursor is on the timeline. And let's see if that matches up. Okay. Okay, that seems to have matched up, but I'm going to drag that to the beginning so that you can see if that matches up from the beginning. Let's go. Okay, let's go. You can see that that matches up and I got that first try. If you're trying to learn this, it's you might not get it first time as I did now because I've been doing it for quite a long time. So it kind of comes like second nature to me. But if you practice with this, basically another way to make it easier is I try to count beats. Basically in every song there are beats, but the easiest way me I can explain the beats to you is when a song is playing, let's turn off this video track. I try to count a pattern of four within every bar. So let's go from the beginning of this track. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So that's another way I used to sync up the video and audio files in case the audio file does not have any distinctive landmark which I could use to line it up. I would use the beat counting method to sync up my audio and video files. So 
that is it i think we've come to the end of today's video so so in this video i've been able to show you how to create a new project in adobe premiere pro how to import your files into the project panel in preparation for your video edits how to sync your audio and video files with a program called plural eyes and how to sync your audio and video files manually right here in adobe premiere pro and that brings us to the end of today's video next video we're going to be talking about something else on this same edit process and if you still want to continue on this learning process i would advise you not to miss that video this is an ongoing series and the videos are all connected if you watch from the start to the finish you should be able to pick up and edit a reasonably good video in adobe premiere pro by yourself so till next week if you found some value in this video like leave a comment subscribe and share this with your friends and i would appreciate that so much till next time have a good day and see you soon